Hello everyone, the needles have arrived and I haven't had a chance for the last two days, three days to even look at them. So hopefully I'll get a chance now. And my toddler is outside with the Nana walking. This little one is asleep over here, so finger crossed. So hello everyone, my name is Barbara Nalefko and I'm over here on this channel uh, with episodes in 2024. That's I think so far I'm able to uh, produce with the content uh, with the two kids under two and uh, in March I had birthday and um, someone gifted me some money so I could buy something for myself it was specific but it has to be for me therefore I bought knitting needles I don't have a big collection uh, but I wanted to buy something that I'm actually going to use um, I went with these this is a Knit Pro the mindful collection and I got some extra um, needles that are not in the set or I got an extra ones to fill up this the the money I got um, with with the extra one just in case if you want to knit sleep so let me show you first what we have over here so I'm just opening with you so this is the bag here it is I haven't taken this thing off um, and I was looking through the YouTube in regards to the knitting needles, so we have some information. You can check out others, nicely packed. And this bag, inside, we open it up. We have knitting needles with the pouch. Ugh. That just these kind of sachets, I just put them there. In this thing, um, You've probably seen it. You've probably seen it. We have this, we have scissors, we have some progress keepers, a tapestry needles, um, you know, something that you probably have anyway. So I'm leaving that to the side. And this is the main beauty. Um, I'm going to write down what sizes we have, but it's beautifully written down. And I purchased them from perspective of knitting sleeves. I'm planning to knit some sweaters. Um, I've knitted uh, loads of what you call it, um, socks. And these apparently can be used for socks. We shall see 10 uh, inch for me. It's quite, I think, big. So we start from, I'll tell you, uh, two millimeters, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five and six. Therefore it is US size zero, 1.5, 2.5, four, six, seven, eight and ten therefore i got myself separately they come like this take a photo so what i got over here just to fill it in uh, we have us size 2 2.75 millimeters us size 4 3.5 we do have that in set but i got an extra one because in the fingering weight yarn you wouldn't knit sleeves on this then we have us size 6 which is 4 millimeters so definitely for sleeves and then us size 8 which is 5 millimeters also for sleeves so 5 4 and 3 and a half we do have in the set yes i think and 275 we do not have in the set so that's that i'm going to stick them in here now so let me check the quality obviously each pair need to be checked individually that's my how do you take it off? Oh yeah, interesting. You see, see, so I'm pulling it over here, but then at the end of the day, it's actually stuck over here. See this? Right. So that's the only thing that I'm not used to. It doesn't create, it doesn't create a full circle. It's very tense. So you need to knit from perspective of sliding the stitch in this way, I think. Because it's not circle. And the tips, they're not sharp, they're blunt, but they're not completely. I would say they're kind of middle, middle, middle thing. We do have patience written down on them, so I presume each size has a theme. But also there's Knit Pro 275 or size 2 also written down. Obviously, I presume in a while this will come off. Like, do we have written down? 25 centimeters 10 inches written down on the cord it says knit pro and that's that what we have on the cord also it will rub off for sure so this is how it looks 
now so i took them all from the cases the extra ones obviously 2.75 i added to 2.5 so i don't have to but it'll be like this and i can probably um get more in the future but i'll be interested how how comfortable the knitting is because i did not spend those money for my pocket and just from a um, family member therefore i was like okay let's buy it and try it on um and see how it goes i probably manage i probably will have to change a little bit technique of knitting when you knit in circulars uh, if you're knitting with bees and if you have first um experience with these and you don't really like it nine inch are full circle so let me show you that knit pro too and they're not and i knit socks with these so there shouldn't be a problem but i know how high highest i think they have full circle when i do this Hmm, do you have nine inches? Check them out and write down down below. Let me know. Have knitted with the Knit Pro knitting needles? What knit knitting needles you have used? Uh, I know everyone likes, well, majority of people like uh, Chagoo needles, but you probably would see the prices. They're quite high up. And I would say it's like for business. <laughs> I do have Chagoo, um, maybe two circular knitting needles. One because I got them in the box with Knit Crate and they were, they're long ones. They're almost like 150 centimeters cord, for, um, cord with four millimeters and I use them to knit a blanket. So check my um, video, maybe I'll link it down below. Um, what else? And I have nine inch, but someone sent that to me, so I didn't buy it. Um, yeah, so therefore, like I said, it's interesting to knit the with the different tools. I'm knitting a sweater now, and you know, I'm switching from wooden to metal higher highers, and then I'm switching to I think uh, Knit Pro a plastic with wool. Quite interesting, but plastic with acrylic, I would not recommend because it heats up and then sparkles, <laughs> and you kind of have that electric vibe around you. So just be careful if you're if you're knitting with acrylic. Uh, tips and acrylic yarn um yeah so this is metal is it hollow i'm not sure like i said it's very interesting because each size has a name theme so this is peace very pleased how it looks and like a sunflower and they're closed i'm knitting sweater and i really wanted to knit the sleeves uh when i bought together because in the pattern per se there are just some kind of easier rounds and then more intrigued rounds and with the kids if i get to intrigued round and i would not get a chance to go with more advanced i could switch to the other sleeve and just finish that easier part too and then wait for the moment to do the cables uh with the cable needle but i'll use actually nine inch <laughs> cable so i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions in regards to this let me know i'm going to link to the shop that i bought the a thing um so check it out and no sponsoring or anything like that i could show you because and that's what i was interested how pointy they are but they are pointy okay let's open up this and just show you maybe someone will be interested at the end to watch this so we have this because i presume at the end of the day it will run out information we have fancy scissors that you do this if my toddler had seen this it would be hers <laughs> that's what they think whatever they grab it's mine so that's good that's quite safe too so i'm really pleased with this um and then you have tapestry needles which they're huge for sweaters and then you have a bunch of loose um Oh, no, 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 no. They're like together. Um, progress keepers ish stitch markers. They're like two in one. Oh, they're different. They're like locks. They're more like spiral. Oh, I think my little one is. We have hoops and we have another hoops. I did not really check that for this because, you know, it's nice pouch. Probably will add some stock into it and. Love it. Little, little thing. So if you have normal sets, but you've never had this interesting one, I would say go for it, especially when you're knitting sweaters. Okay. Bye-bye.